This mural at the local is part of the newly formed art district in downtown Jackson. I think it'll bring a lot of tourism and excitement mm -hmm. and people want to hang out and enjoy downtown Jackson <clears throat> a little bit more. We both love art and are artists ourselves and it's so encouraging, I would say, yes. to um, just have that support, support and just an area mm -hmm. designated for it. Um, I think it'll be great for downtown. Morgan Walker and Hope Cunningham own the Grounded Plant Company. Their business is in the new art district that was created by the Jackson City Council. What we're doing by designating this as the arts district is saying we love what's going on, let's do more and more and more of it. So we're really encouraging the creation of art, we're encouraging uh, businesses to incorporate the arts into their business, we're encouraging artists to make more art, perform more art in the area. This map shows the area included in Jackson's art district. Lizzie Emmons and the Jackson Arts Council played a big part in getting the downtown area designated as an arts district. An arts district uh, not only is going to open doors for artists, uh, but it's also going to increase our tourism in this particular area. It's going to get more traffic downtown. Uh, it's going to retain residents in this area. It's going to make people want to move to this area. Business owners are thrilled that their part of town is getting the attention. We have so many whispers in our ear about things coming down here. Um, you know, like restaurants and other cool shops that I really hope that gives more incentive um, now that we're labeled a district. I think that it's impossible to think about downtown development without um, incorporating arts and culture. Um, this is the heart of our city uh, and arts and culture is something that we all um, hold near and dear to our own hearts. And Emmons believes the art district will open doors for grants for the city and its residents. Grounded Plant Company already partners with local artists and creativity is rooted in the business. We've gotten really creative with plants recently like making um, cool terrariums and little moss ball terrarium things mm -hmm. and uh, sand art with plants. We are offering classes so other people can come in yes. and get creative create and other things. Emens hopes the art district will benefit more than just businesses. This is a way to bring us all together and unify us um, by incorporating the arts into downtown. The Arts Council and the city want to encourage more art in the downtown area. For 39 News, I'm Alexander Bitterling in Jackson.